Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set order preferences or order defaults on the Oanda desktop trading platform. So what I mean by order default is essentially whenever you come into any instrument here in the order confirmation window, and you go to place a trade, you'll notice we have typical things such as the units, the market, the rate, take profit, stop loss, trailing stop, lower bound and upper bound. Now you'll notice by default these are blanks, but Oanda Desktop actually makes this quite convenient and you actually have the possibility to go in there and change it. So if you do have some sort of trading method that you do tend to use often, or that's the only trading method you use, you can actually have it so all of these parameters here are automatically set up for you. So when you come down the line in the future and you want to place more trades, all you'll need to do is just simply click this order entry window and all your defaults will automatically be displayed for you. Now you can go ahead and change these by coming down to the lower left hand corner here and you'll notice there's the favorites and Forex tab. Either one will do, but we'll just need to click on this little cog window or this cog symbol. These are the settings for user preferences. So now this will bring up the user preferences window. From here, you're gonna to wanna to click on trading. And now you can see here, uh, the first thing that does display to us is that these settings can be customized by market. So kind of like I briefly mentioned, if you do trade one particular instrument, you can come in here, let's say the Euro US dollar, and you can use custom settings for each individual instrument. So if you have different methods for different instruments, this is actually a really unique feature and this will pertain to you. So let's say our default order size for the Euro US dollar will do 17. Maybe for the British pound versus US dollar, we want something different. We can go in here and we'll do 10. It doesn't really matter. Once you're done, you'll just click apply, save. Then we can come to the Euro US dollar. As you can see, my units are already on 17. Let's check out the British pound. And that's at 10, just like we said it. Heading back now, I do suggest probably sticking with the default. This will apply it across every single instrument on the platform. Again, if you have different methods for different instruments, you're more than welcome to come in here and individually select. You'll notice once you have edited something, there'll be a little star symbol next to that. That just means that you're using custom settings enabled by this blue checkbox. If you don't have custom settings, you're pretty much just set to the default for each contract, which is set right here. So again, we can come into each different parameter here and enter as we need to. So let's say we always stick with the order size of 10. We'll wanna enter that in. Again, you can check or change the parameter. As you can see, the drop down menu does have units, percentage, leverage, and AV, and in US dollars. So if you trade based off one of those specifics, you can select those from there. Now, other than that, we do have a couple other different parameters which we can actually set um, numbers for. Default bounds, default stop loss, default take profit, and default trailing stop. Now, because this will differentiate between every single trader, most likely, I'm not gonna set anything here. We can keep everything as the default, but just keep in mind, you can definitely use this. And once you do have these set, these different parameters, you'll need to come down here to the bottom left and find their corresponding checkbox. So as you can see here, here's default bounds. If we wanna use this, these bounds as a default across all the different instruments, we'll simply come down here and enable that. Stop loss, you wanna do the same thing. Take profit, same thing. And trailing stop, take the same thing. Just remember, just because you do set a number here, doesn't mean it will automatically be inputted in that order entry window. You have to check these boxes down below. Now we do already have a video somewhat covering this topic in one-click trading. If you're not familiar with one-click trading, I would suggest for you to head over to our Oanda desktop playlist and take a look at that video. Like I said, it does cover many of these features here. But for those users that still need an order confirmation window, you want to stick with this video instead. Just to briefly mention, as you'll see, there's a couple of different things on the bottom right. This doesn't really pertain to user preferences and order defaults per se, more towards one-click trading. But 
If you want to have one-click trades, you can just uh, activate the confirm one-click trades checkbox or deactivate it, excuse me. And then you have a couple other ones like show confirmation windows. That'll just create a buffer period where you're not really doing anything rather than just entering all these things in. So if you have the default and you want to stick with that, I would suggest deactivating those things down there. Now, once you do have everything set up as you need, you just want to going to click apply and save. So that way, when you either come through these order buttons or however you decide to place a trade, you'll notice that whatever we have set up is the default now. Again, I didn't activate any of these take profits, but even though they still are following that order default that I did have set in the settings there, so that is quite nice. But other than that, that just about wraps it up. Just wanted to show you if you weren't familiar with it, where user preferences can be found and how you can set defaults going forward if you do use the same method over and over. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Awanda Desktop. We have futures tutorials videos as well for all you futures traders out there. And we're just getting into Forex. So if you're interested in Forex trading, check out the link down below for a free Oanda desktop demo. And we can set you up with a live account as well. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Or you can head over to our community form that's listed in the description as well. So feel free to check that out. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.